Hi, I'm Andrew Sheps, and welcome to the Mom Deck tutorial video. This is actually going to be pretty short. If you want an in-depth look at everything you can do with the Mom Deck package, the Mom Deck module walkthrough will be much more thorough and give you a little bit more insight into how you can customize things to work the way you want instead of the way I think you might want to work. But what I wanted to do is really quickly show you how you can get started using the Mom Deck package as it comes. So there are a few pre-built decks and one app inside of the Mom Deck package. I'm going to go ahead and launch two of them. So the first thing is this is the mom deck three by five deck and you can see it just had to connect to dadman and now it's populated with all of my custom stuff and then there is the volume display app so i'm going to go through their functionality really quickly because that covers almost all of the basic functionality in all of the many components that allow you to make custom decks and things like that control volume assign key commands everything like that so the mom deck three by five deck is showing here, three rows, five buttons. I built it that size for two reasons. One, it fits on the original Stream Deck. And two, this actually allows you to show all of the buttons that are part of the MOM controller. There are 10 buttons, and here are two rows of five, very convenient. Then there are four layers, which instead of having to toggle through the layers, you can actually access them directly. And then there is an info button, which I'll go through in more depth when we look at all of the individual components. So basically, you can see that I've got three different sources assigned to headphones, and I can switch between them here just by clicking. And you can see that Dadman is actually changing down below to select that source. Same thing for speakers. I've got some sources on the speakers, and you can see those changing here. And I've actually got four of them going here. Then I've got my four layers here. Uh, then I'm using some of the other buttons here to both cut and dim speakers. I've left those assigned to what they are named. Um, but I'm muting an output here for a different set of speakers. So this is all set up in the mom profile, which is part of Dadman and is covered in the Dadman configuration video. But the functionality on this deck, you may notice that these are not called source A, B, and C and outputs one, two, and three. That's because you can name them. You'll also notice they have colors. So how do we actually add those colors? One of the cool things about the info button, aside from just displaying the current volume, is that when you hold different modifiers that would actually allow you to get to other functionality in the mom deck package, it will show you what it is that you can do. So if we hold down command, it will show you that command will let you rename a button. Option will let you choose the button color, and the color is actually a pair of colors. The, this is active red, this is inactive red, this is active blue, inactive blue, etc. Um, and then if you hold down shift, it will show you the default button names because this is what shows up in the mom configuration. So if you're trying to assign stuff to buttons and you can't remember which button is which while you're doing the assignments, hold down shift and it says, all right, that's speaker one. And then you can assign whatever you want to the speaker one button. So if I command click the dim button, I can name it dim speakers. And that might be useful because this will dim the speakers even though I'm also switching headphone sources. Great, I can change the color. Right now it's teal, let's make it yellow, and now I can dim, and you can see that when it's active, it actually changes color to let you know that it's active. That's it in terms of the functionality on this deck. You can also assign key triggers or MIDI triggers or all kinds of things to control stuff within the package, uh, but I will show that in the module video that you can watch after this. And if you've already watched it, then you already know. Then the volume display, uh, at its core, it displays the volume. So I'm gonna reach over to my hardware mom and change the volume and you'll see that the info button on the deck as well as the volume display are changing and it is matching the fader that's moving just over here as I change the volume. But wait, there's more. These LEDs on the volume display directly mirror the collar of the volume knob on the mom. So this LED being red means we're at minus 30. You can directly access any level that would light up one of these red by clicking on it. And these are in two dB steps. So you'll notice if I use the knob that it goes down in half dB increments and then colors will change to show you that you're moving one way or the other. 
but to directly access any of the volumes, you just click on it and there you go. There are also three volume presets. So my normal listening level is minus 30, um, but here's where I wanna have some fun on the speakers. And then this is basically my lower level monitoring. I could use the dim as well, but I like to have three different presets for my volume. You can type in anything you want that is within the allowable range of minus 40 to plus 12. Now the volume control in Dadman does go below minus 40, but the mom controller is incapable of displaying anything under 40 dB. So as soon as you go down below 40 dB, it just says minus 40. And then once you get back above minus 40, it will pick up and show you what's going on. Then you've got nudge up and down. So let's say I wanna nudge in five dB steps. I can nudge and now I'm going up in five dB steps. You can put whatever you want here. Let's say for some reason you want to nudge in 1.5 dB steps. There you go. And if you put anything outside of the allowable range or you type letters in here, it will just show you an error that will tell you what you have done wrong. What I'm gonna show you right now is just the keystroke triggers controlling the mom deck, which in turn will control Dadman. Even though I have hardware mom, I'm finding myself really not using it much because not only are these buttons named for switching the source for my headphones, but I have key commands set up to switch those sources and that's on my function keys. That's right under my right hand all the time, whereas to reach over to a hardware controller, I actually have to look and I have to find the buttons and then use them. So this is incredibly, incredibly powerful. And these can be triggered by everything that you can use to trigger any sound flow event. Then you can also assign keystrokes to recall your volume. So if I recall my minus 20, and then I wanna quickly go to minus 30 and minus 40, great. And if I wanna nudge, I can nudge as well. And again, you can assign anything you want to that. Plus, I've got a MIDI knob that is controlling the volume as well. And I'll show you in the other video how you can use a Stream Deck Plus, which has knobs built into it to control the volume as well. So incredibly flexible. Out of the box, you get this pre-made deck. You also get a deck pre-made for the Stream Deck Plus and you get the volume display. So you could not do any custom configuration on your own. Just name some stuff give it some colors and get to work. Thanks.